And now, welcome to another episode of the Moises Show with your host, Moises Davidson. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Once again, I want to thank all of you for your prayers and financial support. God has been blessing our ministry here in Richmond, Chi Alpha. Students are getting baptized, saved, experiencing community, and Jesus is just striving all over Richmond. Now, many of you heard me mention Marcus to you over the phone, face to face, and on Facebook. But today, all of you will have an opportunity to really get to know just who is Marcus Floyd. <laughs> wow, Moises, thank you for uh, that setup there. Thank you for uh, the intro. I'm, I'm very honored and thank you for allowing me to be on the Moises show. I um, feel super uh, uh, special and yeah, I'm excited for this interview. Well, of course, you are my brother in Christ, and I want my supporters to really see that. So to start things off, where are you originally from, Marcus? It's a great question. So I'm from right outside um, Richmond, Virginia. It's uh, in Chesterfield. I'm from, I'm Selma County kid. Um, grew up in Chesterfield County. And uh, when I started going to VCU, I started commuting back and forth from Chesterfield to Richmond. And so I like the Richmond area. It's got a lot of cool vibes. And, it's very multicultural, um, and it's been an awesome experience being here in the Richmond area. Very cool. As a newbie to Richmond, I can now understand the appeal. Really great city. I've adjusted well. I like just the close-knit community that is here in Richmond. So what did you study when you were a student at VCU? So I studied exercise science. Um, so I was on the pre-occupational therapy track, um, but the major that I studied was exercise science. So I was a cross country guy in high school, did track and field. I wasn't very competitive because I wasn't that great, especially with track and field, but I was almost on varsity for cross country, but you know, the workload got to be in high school, but I just love learning about the human body. The human mm -hmm. body is fascinating, you know, nutrition, flexibility, muscular endurance, power, all that stuff fascinated me and just caused me to want to learn more about how to live a healthy lifestyle. So it's just been amazing um, um, having to have gone through, you know, that major and learned all that I've learned. Right. And that's very important. I like what you said about the importance of living life healthy, because as Christians, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and we are called to be good stewards of our bodies. So what brought you to Chi Alpha when you were a student? Oh, man, that's a good question. Um, so um, I didn't grow up in the church. Um, it wasn't until my uh, sophomore year in college that I had uh, an encounter with Chi Alpha. So I was walking through the compass, so it's at VCU, and um, I was dodging all the campus ministries and stuff because I really just didn't understand what it meant to be in community um, with other Christians and what it meant to um, really follow Jesus in community. Um, but I was walking through the compass, and some nice Chi Alpha people were throwing me a Frisbee, and I ended up catching it. And I ended up getting involved in Chi Alpha the next school year, my junior year. And getting plugged into Chi Alpha was the best thing I could have done in college because it allowed me to be able to experience Jesus in community, the very thing that I've been searching for for so long. But I was trying to find community in different ways and trying to experience the goodness of God and, um, and, and by myself. But we're not created to do life alone. And so being involved in Chi Alpha, growing in my relationship with Jesus, deciding to follow Jesus for the rest of my life in community was just super awesome. And it transformed my life, it transformed how I view God, and it transformed how I view relationships. Um, so forever changed because of Chi Alpha. It's been good. That's so powerful, that's a great testimony. Because the vision of Chi Alpha is to reconcile sins to Jesus Christ. And another goal of Chi Alpha is to form friendships and bonds with individuals because our relationship with Jesus Christ is not private. It's based on community. And as believers, we are better together. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for sharing that. That's very, very encouraging. So when did you feel called to be a Chi Alpha missionary? Oh, that's, a, that's another good question. Um, so like I said, um, when I came to VCU, I was majoring in exercise science and had the plans to go into occupational therapy. Um, but my senior year, after having experienced um, experiencing Chi Alpha as a student and being a student leader, 
in around like February, March area, um, after talking with my campus pastor, um, Mike Godswa, he um, really opened my, you know, mind to the idea of potentially doing the internship because um, they were um, debuting the internship um, for here in Richmond, Chi Alpha. And uh, I was like, man, you know, I think we're going to occupational therapy. But as I started to think about what was the most impactful thing in my college experience, I started to look at how God had transformed my life in Chi Alpha. And I honestly was like, I want to give students the opportunity to experience Jesus the way I experienced Jesus in community. Um, and so I said, I'm going to dive into this internship. I don't know what's ahead, but I know what God has done in my life. And so I wanted students to be able to experience that as well. And so I decided to do the internship. At the time, it didn't make a whole lot of sense because, you know, I had the GPA to go into occupational therapy school. But as I, as I was weighing, you know, what meant the most to me and where God was leading me to, I really believe that the internship was where God was leading me to. And looking back now and he, where I am today, that was the best decision I could have made. And I'm super thankful to be Kyle Campus Missionary. This is my um, fourth year serving in ministry, Kyle here in Richmond. Wow, four years on staff. So wow. the one, one year doing the CMIT, and this is my third year on staff. Wow, so you're a veteran. <laughs> and the greater context of things, there are those that have gone before me, uh, for sure, that have served in Kyle for 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 50, so many years. And um, I'm just so excited to see what lies ahead. Um, I dec definitely see myself serving Kyle for um, long term. Um, so I'm excited for that journey. All right. And I also want to thank you for always mentoring me as an entry level Chi Alpha individual. And just to give some clarity, in Chi Alpha, when you're a graduate from college, if you feel called to missions, specifically the secular campus, you give a year to be a missionary intern and you pray about doing it for a lifetime. Mm. So thank you, Marcus, for your faithfulness and your commitment to serve mm. God in this particular setting because you purposely chose something that was not difficult, but you yield to a call of God mm. to invest in others. Mm. So I appreciate your kingdom mindset. Thanks, bro. Um, learning day by day what that looks like to live in God's kingdom and to steward what he's given me and allow people to experience the goodness of Jesus. So, no problem, man. Right, I know you recently preached at Wednesday Night Live. Can you tell us a little bit about that experience in terms of not just your delivery of the sermon, but even your preparation? Yeah, that's a great question. So, yeah, I did... Um, share on Wednesday. Wednesday Night Live is our largely worship service here in Richmond, Chi Alpha. And we're currently in a sermon series called Thrones, um, Who Rules Your Life? And so I was preaching out of Matthew chapter six. And how I prepare uh, sermons is um, first, I like to dive into the scriptures and do something called proact. Pray, read, observe, apply, pray again, and tell. Um, so pray, praying that God would, you know, open my heart and my mind to what he's speaking through his word, um, reading it a couple of times, observing, so annotating the text, um, circling things that are like, oh, that's interesting. And, you know, presenting these things to the Lord as I'm trying to wrestle with the scriptures, praying about it again, and then telling, and that being, um, sharing, um, on Wednesday Night Live, because, when it comes to preaching for me, like, I want God to speak to me first before I ever try to share anything to others. And so um, just really wrestling and saying, hey, God, like, what are you sharing? What, what are you revealing about yourself and about your plans for, um, for all of us um, to walking into experiencing um, your goodness and to follow you and to obey you and to be in a relationship with you? So it, it was a great process, very challenging, because like God really showed me in areas where I can grow in and um, the journey that he's had me on. And so um, that part of the preparation was was great. And then um, sharing it with you guys on Wednesday was just amazing, but also really vulnerable because it's like, man, I'm sharing with you guys the things that I'm processing. Um, uh, it can feel a little weird sometimes, but 
allowing God to just like take center stage and me just being a vessel up there for what God wants to share with you, with you guys through my stories is one of the most rewarding things. So. That's wonderful. Well, I can definitely see how there is a hand of God on your life. I can definitely attest that God has blessed your humility, your devotion, your commitment, and your genuine spirit. You are truly a blessing to all of us here, not just in Chi Alpha, but you're a blessing to all the people that you come in contact with. So one more question. What is your favorite dance move? <laughs> My favorite dance move. So um, this is crazy because when I listen to music, like it's almost involuntary, almost like a heartbeat. Like I just like to like dance and stuff. But uh, like, and in my family, I'm like a really extreme extrovert. And like, I'm probably like the only one that if we would go to like a cookout and stuff, I'd be like the only one dancing and stuff in my own little corner. But uh, I think I could show like, a little dance who we, we get the camera to like fall in a little bit, you know, just get a little. So when the song plays, you know, you just gotta start a little bit. You just gotta get a, gotta get a rhythm. You just gotta get left and right, left and right, and then just move to the right, to the left. To the right and just 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 rock with it. And just rock, rock with it. it. Like, you know, just rock with it. It's all the hips. It's on the hips. On the shoulders. A little core too. Just a little shimmy shake right here like that. And then like you know, a little waving the arms and then side and this way. Yeah. And then this way. And then uh 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 see? Uh uh uh, mm -hmm. uh. and life. You always gotta find a rhythm. Find a rhythm in your life. And it'll all be good. So Wow, yeah. find the rhythm in your life. Is that your next sermon topic? Oh, we'll have to stay tuned and see about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank all of you so much for listening. I really appreciate it. Marcus Floyd, yours truly, Moises Davidson. Have a great day. God bless you. And I'll see you next month for another episode of The Moises Show. Bye.